who's up first? <clears throat> okay. um, is John Stones fit and available for tomorrow? Yeah. Um, how how is he trained this week and, and how? Step by step is getting better. But he's, he's not still top, but it's getting better. But it's good to take minutes for tomorrow, yeah. I mean, before I think before the Shakhtar game, you were saying that you, you felt that he would have a, a long run. That that didn't happen. What has he got to do to stay fit? And and how convinced are you that he can be relied on long term? Because he's only played eleven games of thirty this season. He has to be fit. After two three games, after he fell down and and he cannot play, so. But is there anything he can do in particular to to help himself stay? We fit? try to do. We try to help him. And we try to do the best for him to help him. Since the day one, three years and a half, we are here. Yeah, we do everything for him. But you still have faith in him as a defender, as a player, long term? Yeah. Okay. Done? Okay. Um, there's been a suggestion that since you've arrived in English football, that it's not only City that you've transformed, it's the, the entire English game, and that's dribbled down all the way through the, the leagues to teams like. Port Vale, when you analyse lower league teams, do you see parts of your style being incorporated into how they want to play? Mm -mm -mm. Not at all? Don't let me say that. After that, I'm going to hate me more than the people hate me. So, but is it... I try, I try, we try, we try to, this club playing the way we like, that's all. So, believe me, English football has his own, own idea and every manager try to involve his own clubs. More than that, more than that is not like this because the the all the managers in Premier League, in Championship, in the you know in the low competitions, if they play the way they play they, or they they make them play their own teams the way they believe, not because they were in TV and said, oh I like to do that, I'm going to copy paste and and, and my club or my team that doesn't work. So I said for the day one when we arrived here, are we going to try to play the way we like? And it was we were able to do it in Barcelona, we were able to do it in Munich, and we were able to do it. We have been able to do it here in England. More than that, is is zero zero pretension to to do it. Just going back to John Stones, when he is fit, he's an England international, played in the semi-final, I believe for England. Do, do you rate him as? Still one of the best centre backs England have in our country. He has the conditions to do it, yeah. He has the conditions. Yeah. So therefore, he still has to prove it, or he has the conditions to do it. But to be the best central defender, you have to play one entire season every three days, being there. If don't, it's difficult to reach the potential that he has. He has to be the level, you know, to to play regularly and the last. Three seasons and a half, he could not do that. Bad luck is that then? You know, the, the fact that he's not uh, able to It's do. difficult to, you know, to know the reason why. So sometimes it's when you have a, a tough injury, for example, like I may had this season or Gundogan in the first season, it's sometimes it's unlucky, you know? Or Mendy, when the first year arrive, mm -hmm. uh, first year here arrive, yeah, that can happen, you know? It's unlucky. But uh, in case of, of John, I don't know. I don't know why he's not able, we are not able to, you know, to be regularly uh, for a long, long period because he's young, <laughs> he's a young player. Sorry, I haven't got back. Is there a chance this could blight his career then long term because he keeps on getting his injuries? He never quite reaches. No, I don't think so. That's Cabo when you have more than 30, 30, but he's still young. So it's a, it's a player he has. Uh, on his future in front of him, you know, it depends on him. So it depends on him. He's in in his hands, in his head, uh, to become one of the best. Hi, Bert. Um, Port Vale's striker Tom Pope said he'd love to play John Stones every week. He'd scored forty goals a season. What's your response to that? It was not nice. It was not nice. You're aware of it, are you there? No. Nope. Oh, right. I didn't would, know. Would you be tempted to play John tomorrow, just maybe to prove a point? John is going to play tomorrow, yeah. He's going, he's going mm. tomorrow. Um, and you talk about er uh, Eric Garcia. Given his... his I mean, he, he looks like a really promising player. Could he save you a lot of money maybe in the summer in terms of strengthening in, in defence? Could Is he now a genuine sort of threat to, to John in terms of playing regularly? Is, is another player, is the one player that we 
we have it that is uh, from the academy it's just 18 years old has still a lot of margin to learn but he's so clever and everything you you talk to him he understands immediately he doesn't need you know more time to to understand what he has to do but is you know in this league you need uh, another squad to sustain the four competitions and the important is that we have one guy we can rely on and that is the the most important thing just carried on with eric pep is, it, is he a player that you've known about for like before you came here that you'd always kind of had your eye on no heard about him? no i hear something who was in the barcelona academy that he was a captain in in all the he thinks he was arrived here and immediately was a captain. That's why it means how how settled incredible well with the team because he's an incredible lovely guy and who incredible well educated <coughs> and always you know exactly what he has to do. He's not ever over exaggerated in his acts and no shy in the other one. So it's always it's calm and he's incredible all the time focus and 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 I hear that when I was in Barcelona and after I came here, the city decided to, to pick him up and and the process and what he has done is thanks for the manager's academy, for what he has done and after for the circumstances that we have. Of course we have injuries in that position, but we decide from the beginning of the season training every day with us. After we saw last season when we trained with us and play in the Carabao Cup and some games with us. And you know the life is about opportunities, and sometimes you are the you know everything, but you don't have the chance. <laughs> but this chance for the season, and in incredible tough moments of the season against uh, Sheffield, how fast they are the players there, or Everton, Calverwell, in Richarlison or Musa, in Sheffield, or against you know the second half when we played against Wolves, ten against eleven, he was there. And uh, and you see the teams, okay, he make a mistake like everyone, but he doesn't make a mistakes like any coast, big, big troubles or big, big problems with the team. And that is so important. There's been a bit of talk about a, a potential new contract for him. Is, is he a kind of player that City <coughs> wants to kind of build a future? Yeah, around? it's the same when you ask me, the, of course, we discuss it. I think, I guess, I didn't speak with Chiki, honestly, but I think when 18 years old playing, I think the club wants, you know, extend the contract. But the situation, I don't know, in, in more in this period, I don't have time not even to take one coffee with Chiki, so so I don't know, honestly. Quite a few people around around the club have said that Eric like, loves football um, and loves the tactics and things like that, and you said before he's quite intelligent. Have you known anyone that young that's been so obsessed with tactics and how the game works? Busi, Busquets in my period when he was young, you know, when I was in the second team from Barcelona and the first team, he was so curious to know that in that age, 17, 18 years old. There are not many, but is in the squad there are people who loves to understand the game tactics and guys doesn't like that don't, don't like to you know to talk about that. It, that doesn't mean it's good or bad. Eh? Everyone is everyone. So, and for example, don't like to talk about that, but I understand everything. You don't need it. But Eric is a guy who you know who likes, yeah, who likes why, why the reason why, why it was happened. And he's a guy who make mistakes. You come in, he, he he quick understand, you know, uh, and he's continued to make mistakes, of course. But when you have a guy, when you in always stable. It's important center defender be stable here and always have seven, eight. Not making incredible performance, but not make a lot of mistakes. And Eric, in that in this situation, there was a guy, uh, a young player that always is stable. It's 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 important for the manager to take a decision. Okay, it's a guy can give you this this level. That that is so important, and especially in this position, a striker sometimes is up and down, but there's more talent, more creativity, and sometimes you know you wake up, wow. So today I will express everything, but the defender has to be stable. And Eric, for his way, is is like this. So, do you think he's only he's only eighteen? Do you think he's got a little bit more growing to do as well? Do you think he's going to get taller? Of course, would be better with twenty-two or twenty-five or twenty-seven, especially if he plays games. He will be better, of course. So, it's not. I don't think it will not be a guy like uh, the good games or. Nice words in the media is going to change his perspective about who he is or what I have to behave in my in my career. I don't think so. Maybe I'm wrong, huh? 
but I, I don't think so. In this case, I don't think so. What physically do you think he's going to? He's still growing. Yeah, we would like to be taller, <laughs> but I don't know if. Uh, hopefully, I don't know. He's 18 years old. Maybe he make a. <coughs> you know, he can grow. So, but it's worry. So that I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Okay. Okay. Thank you, guys.